Uh, what we did is just put yourself out there in terms of, so we, you know, whether it's school, clubs, associations, we, we go to everything and, uh, and as soon as you're there, you know, introduce yourself, get to know people. You know, there's a lot of opportunities to get involved with um, sports or interest groups um, and a uh, general meeting once a month. I also met some friends of friends. So I knew some people in Moscow that knew people in Kiev. They put me together. We ended up going out and becoming friends after. School and uh, the community um, around an international school is very helpful. My first friends, my first friends, <laughs> I met at the first school day. I ended up going there with, with my kids. They went to their first uh, lesson. And uh, in the reception area, I met Yolanda. And I think most of us, if we have children, we end up becoming friends with their parents. I made friends through school, some of the other mums, really lucky. The school that we chose is really, really great. Um, our kids are at PSI school and the community there is, is great. So you, the, you, you don't have to even join the PTA or anything. Everybody's friendly and welcoming. There are so many expats and they're all in the same boat of wanting to meet new friends. Um, so I think school has been a very easy way to meet people. For me, it's also been the U the Canadian Embassy, rather, having pub nights every well, Friday, great, yeah. and there's a lot of expats. It's actually not only Canadians that go, it's a pretty wide range of English-speaking um, expats that tend to go, so I've met people there. And then also through the IWIC, different groups and interest groups has been a great source. So I feel like it's pretty easy to meet people. The, the expat community is quite transient in the sense that a lot of people do come and go, but I think that also adds to a kind of almost like a almost holiday camp familiarity. You know, people, have, people can be quite friendly. I think also if you come here without a family, um, I because I've lived in places before where I've gone before we had kids, I would imagine here it's also easy to meet people because as a community there's lots of events going on, not just around the school. There seem to be mm -hmm. other events to get involved with. Well, I would so good. You know, a good way of meeting people and getting involved. Yeah, so the there's International Women Club in Kiev. That's right. International yeah. Women's Club Kiev. Yeah. I think Kiev is, is quite a small expat community, but a close expat community. So, uh, so it's easy to make friends here. People are very welcoming. Uh, and I, I think, again, in a, in a close, uh, a smaller expat community, everyone knows each other and they tend to know if you're new and they, uh, they tend to spot that early and, and help you because you're new and uh, everyone's been through that situation before. So uh, I, I think here is, is one of the, the easier places almost to, to get to know people.